Thanks for tuning in. I'm Murdoch, and this is a bit different from my usual content, but today we're going to look at the high grade Shin Use Regan Leaf. This is a spider mech from the light novels turned anime, the 86. And the Regan Leaf was created by the Giad Confederacy from the reverse engineering of the San Magnolian Juggernauts to combat a Terminator Judgment Day tier autonomous sentient machine force called the Legion. <gasps> that was a lot. This particular model was developed for Shine Nozen, our eponymous hero, and his rather brilliant borderline insane fighting style. Worth mentioning, I'm covering the special edition of this kit. The special edition comes with a little poster of Shin and Lena. It's cute, but your mileage may vary on what you decide to do with it. The kit also comes with a clear action base 5, which only helps you get a more dynamic action pose out of this guy. Speaking of poses, the legs are all on hinge joints connecting to a peg slot in the main body, and have reasonably wide range of motion and articulation. The pile bunkers the rods in those armored things on the front of the feet, they slide just about their entire length along the inner track holding them. The mandibles, or well, we'll call them mandible blades for now, because that's what they remind me of. Um, they have some limited hinging, but can rotate so you can get those cool slicey poses. Just, you know, you might take some for nailing. Also worth mentioning, it's a simple mechanism for the model kit, so you'll have to use your imagination for what would actually be the case, but the top mounted cannon pack is actually removable. It just sits on a hinged rectangular slot and can be replaced with any of the other compatible weapons packs. I don't know if it can only use other Regan Leaf packs, or if it'll accept juggernaut weapons too. Let me know in the comments if you've tried. Kit comes with the 148 scale Shine in the cockpit. He's also removable, and before you blast me in the comments, I'm aware I suck at doing minis. All right, color correction. This guy comes with a big sticker sheet. There are lots of spots on my particular model that I chose paint over stickers. Some are for particularly big spots, which I can understand from a cost management perspective, as that would either be expensive to change the molds, or it would be more complicated getting white or red plastic where it needs to be for that color separation. Before you roast me in the comments for how I chose to paint mine, just remember, Gunpla is freedom. And you don't see me telling you how to paint yours. On the upside, you also get the option of choosing to use either a red or clear camera eye uh, right on the runner. In terms of build experience, well, it's a high grade. It's rather straightforward and it was actually a delight to build. Being that it's a modern high grade, uh, however, the actual details make it feel like it's something closer to a real grade kit. It's in one of those weird in-between pockets, like, you know, a, a full metal panic kit, for example. They just, they have that detail and the, just, yeah. If you've built one, you know what I'm talking about. As of this recording, the special edition kit seems to no longer be available, so my apologies if I got your hopes up looking to get one. 
However, the normal edition is available. And currently available in hobby stores with a price tag of something near 3700 yen. If you'd like to see me do more of this type of content in the future, smash that like button and tell me in the comments. Until next time, I'm Murdoch, and keep building.